The Airbus Beluga is an icon of the Airbus brand, and one of the most interesting looking jets on the planet today. But what is this big bulk of an aircraft? Stay tuned, because in this video, I'm gonna go over the beginnings as well as the markets behind the Airbus Beluga XL. Before I dive into this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. If you enjoy aviation content and you want some authentic content weekly in your feed, consider doing so. Also, if you're interested in flight simulation content, including videos on the new Microsoft Flight Simulator, make sure to go check out my second channel, Avid Flight Simulation. In 1972, Airbus took a leap in the way they transported their aircraft parts to different locations all around Europe. In the previous years, they'd endured the slow and tedious transportation of their parts on trucks and land vehicles. But after a couple of years, using only land transportation, they purchased four Super Guppies, as they are commonly called. These are highly modified Boeing Stratocruisers that were converted to carry parts and unique cargo for companies like NASA. Airbus started using these to transport their aircraft parts in a more efficient manner. But after nearly two decades of using comparatively slow and old aircraft for their transportation, Airbus decided to develop their own homegrown solution to the fairing of their different aircraft parts. In 1991, they partnered with some aviation companies to develop a transportation aircraft based on their already existing aircraft, the Airbus A300-600. The upgraded transport into the Beluga served Airbus well until 2013, when Airbus started to need even more capacity and transports than was, was already available with the Belugas they already had. So in 2014, the plan was announced to build five more Beluga successors, with 1 billion euros of funding allocated for the project. So, the birth of the Beluga XL was witnessed. Airbus decided to convert one of their already existing aircraft unsurprisingly and ended up choosing the Airbus A330-200 freighter to be converted. The process of development and testing took from the initial development of the design in 2015 to the certification of the type in late 2019. The aircraft first entered service early in 2020 with the jet now carrying Airbus parts all around Europe. As the Beluga XL can be seen as an upgrade from the older Beluga, let's go through some of the differences that exist between the two. Some of the main figures have to do of course with the capacity. Most notably, the ability to carry two Airbus A350 wings instead of one, the Airbus A350 being Airbus's biggest widebody. But the Airbus Beluga XL can overall carry about 30% more payload than its smaller brother. The Beluga XL is an incredible transportation aircraft, if not for its absurd design, but for the amount of cargo it can carry. What do you think? What are your thoughts on the Airbus Beluga story? Let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to consider giving it a like. Also, make sure to go check out my brand new aviation website at theavidaviator.net. You can find all of my content there as well as more frequent updates from me. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.